we presented SAFE 5.0 in San Diego and the response was really overwhelmingly positive. And the reason why it was overwhelmingly positive is we addressed many different issues uh, that um, not just RTEs, but other uh, teams, other people, other roles within SAFE really uh, wanted to get addressed. So I presented at the RTE Summit and my presentation was really about some key things in SAFE 5.0 that affected the RTE, sort of a future landscape, if you will. Uh, and so some of those things that I talked about was first and foremost, customer centricity. Um, we want to establish this customer obsessive culture. Uh, companies like Apple have this ingrained in their DNA and not all companies have this so we want to make sure that the solutions that we're delivering the products and services that we're delivering really take into account the customer first now there's many different ways and tools uh, to get there uh, two of the things that I highlighted were things such as uh, design thinking and also the continuous learning culture okay so in terms of design thinking we talked about some of the dimensions of design thinking. So really uh, things, uh, tools such as empathy maps, uh, tools such as uh, customer centricity, uh, journey maps, these are things that, that RTEs as a role really should have uh, available to their teams. The second point was really around um, culture in terms of learning, continuous learning culture. So we talked about different dimensions along that side. We talked about uh, innovation, um, the concept, uh, this new concept that we called innovation riptides and how they could develop that type of innovative thinking um, within their teams itself. So one of the things that I talked about was a concept known as innovation riptides. Innovation Riptides is a mechanism within the framework. It was developed by Luke Homan. So if you Google it, you're not going to see a lot of documentation around Innovation Riptides. You will within the SAFE framework. Uh, Luke Homan uh, developed this concept of Innovation Riptides, which simply means that it's more than just simple things that we might be doing. In other words, it's more than just what Google did with 20% time. It's more than the IP iteration. It's really something that is a culture of innovation, a culture of bringing this to the forefront where these things are actually on our backlogs. And it, innovation can, it's the understanding that innovation can happen anywhere. I talked in my presentation a little bit about the dual OS, the, the dual operating system. The dual operating system comes from John Cotter's book, Accelerate. We've taken this into um, uh, say 5.0 and it's really a critical piece. Here's the problem that it solves. In a, in a lot of cases, uh, RTEs will run into resistance and not just RTEs, but coaches, change agents as well will run into resistance because people don't want to change and people have roles in an existing organization and they look at it and they go, well, my role's not on the big picture. I don't see it there. I'm going to resist this change because I don't understand this. I don't understand how this is going to affect me. And what Cotter basically says is we really need a dual operating system. One part of our operating system is focused on stability and efficiency. So when a company started up, maybe they had all these different kinds of ideas that were flowing, but over time they've grown. Over time, they've scaled, and they have this established hierarchy. Remember, SAFE is about virtual organizations, virtual trains. We don't take things and make them into different organizations. We wouldn't get very far if every time we went into an organization, we said, hey, I got an idea. Let's reorg, because those are, that's fun. Um, it's not and it's very difficult, and so we have virtual organizations. We ask permission. Rather than move people around, we ask permission. In the dual operating system, we acknowledge that we need both. We need the stability, we need the hierarchies, but we also need the networking side where innovation and creativity and fast ideas uh, and learning comes into account. This dual operating system is all about how we marry these two together.